All right, folks. Office is clear. Man, I miss Chuck. He was one of the good ones. Yeah, I'm just sorry I'll never get to see the ocean again. And he was always talking about sailing. Yeah, he was. You know, I think we all miss something the most. For me, I, I miss Christmas with my parents. Sorry, man. It's all right. I miss my wife. She's on a business trip when the outbreak happened. It's been two years. I don't know if she's alive or not. Hey, you never know. There's still hope, Lucy. I miss endless breadsticks at Olive Garden. What about you, Rick? Yeah, wait. Did you just say endless breadsticks? Okay, you asked me too fast. I guess it should have been endless soup, salad, and breadsticks, but anyway, Rick, your turn. That, out of everything in the whole world that you miss, it can't be Olive Garden. Mm, but it is. The thing you miss most is Olive Garden. Well, I mean, I miss Chili's too, but Olive Garden is Olive Garden, right? I mean, you know, it's a, it just sucks that the endless pasta bowl really does end in the apocalypse. Yeah, the apocalypse. Yesterday, we bought off a bunch of cannibals. Today, we mercy killed our friend Chuck. This is a living hell. And you're gonna sit there and tell me that the thing you miss most from the old world is a chain of Italian restaurants? Okay, you know, chill. He has a thing he misses most. It's not our place to judge, really. Wait a second, actually I changed my mind. See? What I miss most is taking a tour of Italy with my family. That's, that's beautiful. Did you go to Tuscany? No, 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 no. Uh, tour of Italy is a pasta dish at Olive Garden. Oh my god, which one did you mean? Just the Alfredo is too good. Do you even know what happened to your parents? Nope. Did you have a significant other or? Yeah, she died like the first week. It was oh super sad. Okay, you want to know what I miss the most? I had a daughter. She was at her grandparents' house the day the outbreak started. And my brother and I fought our way across this city to try and save her. And I watched while four of those things dragged him away just three blocks from their house. And his last words to me were, Save her. Save Anna. By the time I got to the house, it had been overrun. But I thought, maybe, maybe they made it to the suburbs or the countryside. But no, I found them inside. So that's what I miss the most. My daughter. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, oh my god. I can't imagine what that's like. I can imagine. It's like never having five cheese ziti again. Oh my god, dude, his daughter died and you're talking about noodles! Now why would you even say that? Listen, wait, you don't understand, okay? For me, Olive Garden, I would go there every weekend with my family, with my fiance, with our little boy. It's, I remember everything about it, what everyone would get, the wines, the apps, the way my son would color on a menu, the way my fiance would blow on stuffed mushrooms, even though they aren't even hot. It's, for me, Olive Garden was my happy place. Well, I think I get it now. It's not about the pasta. It's about what the pasta meant to you. Oh, it was totally about the pasta. Yeah. Come on, my stupid family got turned into zombies in the parking lot while I'm a slurping down Italian wedding soup a la cabos. Come on. Man, there's like a Fazoli's two blocks down if you want to go raid that. Yeah, a Fazoli's, sure. And we're gonna replace his dead kid with a dog. Yeah, show a little bit of empathy, Thomas. This is the apocalypse. This is the good life. This is the good life. Value every moment together. We got it all, we got it made. At Olive Garden. What really lurks in the night? Vampires, blood-sucking creatures hiding in the shadows, urban legends made to scare children, or are they among us? I've studied vampire sightings for years, but none of them have been as off-putting as the sighting of Derek Newman. Oh, great. What are you, 
I guess you're not gonna invite me in, are you? I'm sorry. Look, I know how this is gonna go, all right? You're gonna say, we can hang out, we can be friends, but you're not gonna let me sever your arteries and suck all your blood. Derek is a blood-sucking vampire who feeds off the living. He also identifies as an incel. If girls like you don't give nice vampires like me chances, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, is that there's gonna be a vampire mass shooting, and that will be on you. What are you even talking about? You bitches need to lower your standards just a little bit, all right? We're not all Edward Cullen, all right? We all aren't Chad Pyers. You suck. Like, you, like, not blood, like, you suck. Feminism is ruining women. It's like he just doesn't get it. Typical, all right? Women like you don't give guys like me a chance, ever. To murder us and uh, suck all our blood? You're just walking around showing so much neck, I don't know what you really expect, okay. you know? All right, this conversation is over. Be gone. Vampires are usually warded off by things like crucifixes and the Bible. Derek is repelled by the works of strong women. Derek's a monster, a being that lives in the shadows, both hating and envying the thing he will never have. But that's not because he's a vampire. That's because he's an asshole. that they're lovely. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, my grandma actually has one that she loves it. One of the best features about this house is that the laundry is actually on the second floor. The master bath was redone in 2012. This is the room where the Babadook lives. Let me take you out to the veranda. Wait, wait, what was the last part you just said? We're going to the veranda. No, no, no. Did you say that there's a... Babadook? Yeah, what exactly is a Babadook per se? Uh, well, a Babadook is an Australian spirit demon. They're all the rage right now. Everyone wants a house with a Babadook. Wait, don't they like make people go crazy and kill people? Only if they're poorly trained. This one's very tame. Let me show you. Why is it saying its name? Uh, that's kind of what it does. It's like a Pokemon. He's not all that bad when he's not all shrouded in shadow. I think it looks like Jack White. So why would someone want a Babadook in their house? Well, for one, there's tax credits. They're great with kids. And think of the Halloween parties you could throw. Look, they look exactly the same. down into the living room. Floors are the originals, recently restained though. The living room features a functioning wood-burning fireplace, and if you look out the window, here we have the colonial-style porch, and across you can see the stream. Yeah, does the property extend all the way down to the stream, or are we cut off somewhere in the middle? The Babadook's right behind me, isn't he? Uh, I think he likes you. Great. So, the house does come fully furnished. This table, for instance, was built by hand in the 1920s. Oh, the Babadook has written you a children's book. He loves children's books. Oh, that's um very creative of you, Mr. Babadook. I'm gonna actually try and talk to him. Um, I think there's any way that we can have the Babadook exercise from the house? Uh, well, so the thing is, Mrs. Peterson, um, he's actually part of the LGBTQ community, and evicting him is technically a hate crime. Uh, when we tried, he hired a lawyer. <laughs> They're the real monsters, am I right? <laughs> uh, so no. Honey, Val, look what I taught the Babadook to do. 
Ba 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 dog dog. He's Australian. I guess we'll make an offer. Great. special DIY or die, the cooking and crafting show that teaches you how to do it yourself because no one else is going to, uh, especially with, since the wife left. I'm your host Tom Billy and I'm so alone. We're gonna, we're gonna make this Halloween special so much fun that the, that, the, the, that the kids decide to stay with you this year instead of their mother. <laughs> this year I'm going as a, well, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to really love those black and white westerns they show on TV late at night. I'd, I'd press my face all close to the screen and close to the speakers because the sound of the gunshot shots really drown out the sound of mom and dad fighting in the next room. So this year, I'm going as a cowboy. Halloween tip number one. Now, you never know who's going to be out there in the dark trying to take your candy, so this is a toy gun, but make sure you bring a loaded gun to keep yourself safe, because you never know who's in the dark. Tip number two. Kids like to be spooked, so just get in your muscle car and drive around and just yell at them. They'll think it's fun and scary. Halloween tip number three. Most pets get really peeved when you try to put costumes on them, and honestly, that's the reason you should try, because because it really gets them in the character to be angry and vicious, like the like the wild animals that they are inside. You know, real, the kids like to be scared, and the animals will scare them good. It's Halloween. Alright, it seems like we, uh, we have a caller on line one. William, it's really sad that you're still doing this. Marine? Uh, Marine, is that you? Who else would it be? Everyone else who calls in only swears at you. Marine, Marine, first off, thanks, thank you for watching, and please give me another shot. Billy, this dumb show is why I left. On Halloween, always make sure to, to, to do a costume with a mask involved. That way, when you do crimes, no one can figure out it was you that, that forked to the vice principal's yard or uh, burnt down your soon-to-be ex-wife's tool shed. This next activity is one with a purpose. Uh, teens deserve to trick-or-treat too, and th that's why you really need to give out candy or, or something that targets them specifically. Uh, now, for the young kids, you have uh, caramel apple pops, and you have paydays. Uh, and for, for teens, you have a big razor so they can shave their nasty faces. And if you only have one, one candy ball, it's okay to mix the two. Honey, I'll do whatever it takes. You refuse to go to couples therapy, and that's the only thing that I ask Why for. would we go to couples therapy when we have a whole television studio? Billy, I really don't... Don't you want to come back and do your segment again? I never wanted to be on the show. Don't you miss it? Billy, you gotta stop interrupting. P -p Player jingle. She'll want to come back if she hears the song again. Tell me, do you think it'd be alright? Marine need craft tonight. Yeah, I'm so sick of store bought anyway. It looks better, you know. And it might not be that bad. They were the best I ever had. Anyway, it won't make me home feel so much more like home. I really didn't want you to do that. Marine? 
Marine, you, Marine, get her back on the line. Marine, Marine. This Halloween, a fun thing to do would be, be to, to really become like a, a live part of your yard display. Especially if you have a tree with a real sturdy branch. Happy Halloween! Goodbye!